What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be testing out a whole bunch of different cases for the brand new Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now I will be putting links in the description for all these cases in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to review to you guys. I will also be using timestamps because this is going to be a lengthy video, but stick with me because I guarantee you're going to find at least one case you're going to absolutely love. All I ask is that you show me that you care I'm doing this for you by hitting that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I've got cases here by Whitestone Dome, iBlazon, Soupcase, Samsung, Spigen, Otterbox, VRS Design, UAG, and some off brands. So grab your snacks, sit back and relax, and enjoy the video. All right, here we have Samsung's flap leather cover case. All right, so here we have the leather cover case. On the inside, we do have a couple strips of sticky tape that you can peel off if, you, if this doesn't stick on very well. And on the underside of this leather piece, it kind of feels like a smooth rubber material. This case does come apart. All you need to do is simply pull this up off this little piece here and both parts come apart and you can take off the little spine protector if you really want to. And then to install it, just put it back in there and then just kind of press it back into place, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and put our phone in the case. All right, so there is the case on the phone. It feels pretty nice. Like I said, it's all leather. This little piece right here is a metal piece. We have our cutouts for the fingerprint sensor and our volume buttons, which are clicky and responsive. Very nice, so you got your power button and the clicky volume rocker, which is really nice. You can easily find your power button there. It does look like it has a slight, slight raised edge around the phone, nothing very prominent. So if you happen to drop your phone face down, it's probably uh, definitely going to hit the screen. Even if you put your phone face down, it's definitely going to touch the screen. We have our cutouts on the bottom here for our speaker and our microphones. On the back, it does have a raised edge around our camera to give you some protection there. And then when you close it up, as you can see, the little flap kind of tightens and creates a cover for your spine there. This is definitely a nice case. I like the fact that it does offer some protection for the little hinge there. Opens pretty nice, stays on the phone, and it feels good in the hand. It doesn't feel slippery. And then if you're wondering about wireless charging, it does wireless charge. So no issues there. And the big cutout here would work very well if you had a screen protector on here too. So that's definitely another plus. So this is a pretty nice case. If you want a leather case for your phone that is going to offer you some protection, this is not a bad choice. I do like this case. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And then here we have the silicone cover with ring made by Samsung. So here is the case. It's got a very nice silicone feel to it. And again, you can take apart this case if you need to. This just simply clips into the other side here. And it also has some sticky tabs on the bottom part if you wanted to stick a little harder on your phone. Let's go ahead and put our phone in here. Fits on there pretty nicely. There you have your little ring. So you can put this through your finger so it doesn't fall when you're looking at it. Or you can just clip something on it like a carabiner or something on your purse. Feels very nice in the hand. Love that rubber silicone feel. You got your little cutout for your power button and then you have your volume buttons right here which are clicky. And then you can find your power button very easy. It does have a slight raised edge around the front but it's not gonna really give you much protection because it doesn't stick out very much. Got your cutouts on the bottom, your mic on the top, and then your cutout uh, for your display in the back, like I said before, if you happen to have a screen protector on here, it'll definitely fit. And your camera is recessed, so it'll definitely protect your screen. And then you have this, what appears to be a metal ring. Feels nice. Now, like I showed you before, you can take this ring off if you don't want it and just have the silicone cover, which is always nice. I love the way that this feels. I, silicone always feels really nice. 
there it is all folded up. You got your ring here. Very cool. And if you're wondering about wireless charging, no problems at all. So that is a that is a pretty cool case. I always, like I said before, I liked the silicone covers. They always f feel really nice in the hand. And this ring is a nice addition, and I like the fact that they allow you to take it off. So I definitely do like this case, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And then here we have the silicone cover with strap. So here is that case again. It's a nice silicone cover with this nylon strap. This little metal piece at the bottom here. And it looks like you can also take this out too if you don't want to use the strap. You just simply pull this up. And it looks like it also has one more adjustment in case you have bigger hands that can't fit underneath the strap. We also have our sticky tabs on the, on the inside here if you want to have this stick to your phone a little better. So again, it's got that nice soft silicone feel. It doesn't feel slippery but it does feel good in the hand. You got your cutout for your power button and your fingerprint sensor. You have your volume rocker right here, which is nice and clicky, works very well. On the back, you have your cutout for your display. And like I said before, it'll work good if you have a, a screen protector on here as well. Then here we have our little flip uh, nylon strap. You can simply put your two fingers through there and then hold your phone without having to worry about it dropping out of your hand. And that's what that extra strap is for in case your hand's a little bigger, you can make this a little bigger too. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Not going anywhere, very nice idea. And then if we look at the edge around here, then if we look at the edge here, as you can see, it doesn't give you much of a raised edge, just a little bit, not a lot of protection, but there is just a, a tiny bit. Now, if you're wondering about wireless charging with this strap here, so it doesn't look like the standing wireless charger is going to work because you can see there's just too much of a gap. So you're gonna have to have something more where you can kind of uh, fit it down below and maybe sit like that, but it won't work with the standing wireless charger. So here I have a charging pad. We'll see if we can get this to work with that. Yes. So the case does work with wireless charging, you just need to have a pad to have it work. And then as you can see, the little strap offers some protection for the hinge as well when it's closed. Then you can probably hook something onto this little piece right here too. So I do definitely like this case as well. They're making some really nice cases for the Flip 4. So I'm definitely going to give this one a thumbs up. So here we're going to take a look at iBlazon's Armor Box. This is a heavy duty case in case you're worried about dropping your phone or maybe if you have kids and they like to throw your phone against the wall. So it comes with this nice little holder and belt clip, very cool. It also does rotate 360 degrees if you need it to. And inside we have our armor box case. So inside here it does have a honeycomb type of pattern on the inside and it's made of like a, a hard rubber material so it's definitely going to protect your flip four. Now the top piece does have a little sticker that you can peel off to help it stay stuck on your phone. Okay here is the case all installed and as you can see it's got some pretty heavy reinforced edges. So if you happen to drop your phone while it's open like this you definitely don't have to worry about it getting damaged on the corners and if we turn it to the side here you can see that it does have a raised edge all around the phone holds onto the phone very nicely and it feels good in the hand very solid and sturdy and here's a little cutout for your uh, fingerprint sensor you can easily reach it as well as the uh, volume rockers are separated and clicky very nice to see there on the bottom here, we have our little charging port cut out, our speaker, and our microphone. Like I said before, the cutout for your fingerprint sensor and the volume rockers. And then if we close it up, looks pretty nice too. As you can see, you can still see the display there. Very cool, very rugged looking. I love it. Little cutout for your LED, and your cameras are even protected. You can see how it's recessed in there so if you happen to drop your phone here 
uh, that won't touch the back screen or the cameras. Very nice indeed. I do like this case a lot. Very heavy duty. So if you want something that's definitely going to protect your phone, this is going to be one of those cases. And then if you want to put it into its case, you just simply put one end underneath like that and then press on the other side and you're good to go. That's not coming out. And if you're wondering if this case works with wireless charging, we'll go ahead and put this on my wireless charger. And there you go. No problems there, you have fast wireless charging. And then here we have that same armor box, but in its tilt color, which is this nice metallic blue. That is very slick. I think that goes well with the black color. It's got all the same protection, just comes in a different color. So I'm definitely going to give this case a thumbs up. And then here we have iBlazon's Cosmo series in marble. And here we have that Cosmo case in marble. And also does have a little sticker on the inside that you can peel off to have it uh, stay affixed to your phone more permanently. So as you can see, we still have that little raised edge on the front. We have our cutouts for our fingerprint sensor. The volume rockers are separated and easily accessible. We have the cutouts on the bottom. On the back, we do have a recession for our, our camera. So that is protected as well. You want to be a little flashy. Feels good in the hand, nice and grippy. Then if you're wondering about wireless charging, that works without any issues either. This is a pretty nice case, so I'm going to give this one a thumbs up. Today we're going to be taking a look at Soupcase's UB Pro Guardian. So if you want the best protection for your phone without having to buy a OtterBox or something like that, this is definitely going to be one of your best choices. Not only does it come with a case, but it comes with this really nice belt clip that has a clip that does rotate 360 degrees. And if you want to take out the case, just lift up the piece like that and then pull out the case. This one is the OD Green or Gildan, as Soupcase calls it. This one does have a sticker on the inside that you can peel off if you want it to be affixed more permanently to your phone. You can still take it off if you want, it's just going to stick a lot better. It does have a nice uh, hard rubbery material all the way around it to give you some really good protection. And there you go. Very nice rugged case. Feels great in the hand. It's nice and grippy. Definitely does have a nice raised edge around the whole phone to protect that screen. And if we close it up, definitely protected. Look at that. Nice edges on the back here. It does have your camera recessed, so it does protect your camera. It's got that hard plastic right here with these little nubs. Very uh, industrial looking. It's got your volume rockers right here. The power button easily accessible. Your cutouts on the bottom there. I absolutely love this case. <laughs> you can very easily find your power button for your fingerprints and then the volume buttons are nice and clicky. They work very well. So again, if you want to protect your phone the best, this is definitely going to be one of the cases you're going to want to look at. And if you're wondering if it still works with wireless charging, No problems there at all. I also love this carbon fiber inlay. Very nice looking. And if you look on the sides, it doesn't add a huge amount of bulk to the phone, but it's definitely going to be protected. It's got these nice beefy edges. So if you do happen to drop your phone, it's definitely gonna be protected. Very cool case. Again, like I said, it feels really nice in the hand. And if we put it in our case here, you just put one end in on the bottom and then push the rest of the phone in and it's not going anywhere. And you can still see the outer display right there. Definitely give this case a thumbs up. And then here we have the clear case by Rinky. So here it is. It is a hard plastic material. It's not made of rubber. It is definitely all hard plastic. And there you go. As you can see, it fits perfectly with the Rinky screen protector. Very nice. Then we open it up 
and you get full protection. It's got the little cutout for your LED, your cameras, shows off the color of your phone, very nice. It's got the cutouts on the bottom for your microphones, your charging port, and your speaker. On the front here, I do have a screen protector uh, installed, but this doesn't touch that at all. It kind of holds on really well. Got our cutout for the mic at the bottom there. On the side, we have a little lanyard hole. We have our volume rockers that are separated and then our power button for our uh, fingerprint sensor. Feels nice in the hand, does not feel slippery at all. Feels pretty nice and grippy. I love that the fact that the volume buttons are separated, they're nice and clicky, and you can easily fold it up just like that. And that is the Rinky Clear. And if we turn it to the side, you can see that it does have a slight raised edge around the phone in case you happen to put it face down. And then as far as the cameras goes, it's a, just a little raised above the cameras to give you some protection there as well. If you want to show off the color of your phone, this is a nice case. Another thing I wanted to note about the Rinky Clear cases is they have these little micro dots in here so you won't get that rainbow effect like you might get on some other clear cases, which is definitely a plus. This case does pick up some fingerprints, but you can easily just wipe them away. Definitely give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have the matte clear case by Rinky. This is my personal favorite. Not only does it not show fingerprints, but it's got that matte look to it, just like the glass on the back of the phone. And everything just fits into place. So cool. Like I said, I love that matte look. And again, also this case has those micro dots in it, so you won't get the rainbow effect on here either. And it works well with their screen protector. Again, it's got that nice raised edge around the corners. We have the cutouts on the bottom here. We have our lanyard hole, the cutout for the fingerprint sensor, and our volume buttons. Feels very nice in the hand as well. It's not slippery, but it's not grippy like the other case either, but you don't have to worry about it uh, just slipping out of your hands. Very nice case. Keeps everything nice and slim. Definitely give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have the Slim in black. It's kind of just like the matte clear, but this one's in black. It's got a nice feel to it, does not feel slippery. It's got a nice smooth rubbery feel to it. It's got your cutout for your fingerprint sensor and your separated volume buttons, which are nice. Clicky, very responsive, very nice. If we look at the side, it does have a slight raised edge all the way around the screen. Look at the bottom here, we got your cutouts. The top, your microphone. On the back, I do have the screen protector on my display here. And it looks like it's almost flush with the case. And it's a nice hard plastic as well with that nice rubber feel to it and it adds pretty much no bulk to the phone whatsoever. Keeps it nice and slim. And then if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging, no issues there either. The cases also don't just slide off the phone, which is definitely a plus as well. So I definitely do like this case. It's, it's very slim as the name implies. It fits very well on the phone and it gives some protection. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Today we're going to be taking a look at Whitestone Dome's Dome Life Clear Ring Case. So this is their clear case. It's got a huge ring on the outside that does uh, kind of open up so you can kind of clip it onto things right there. And it's got a nice soft uh, back piece and it's held on in place with a piece of nylon. And also something about their clear cases as well is they have like these little micro dots so you won't ever get the rainbow effect like you will with some of the other clear cases. So it does feel pretty good in the hand, not slippery, feels nice and grippy, and it does have a cutout for your volume rocker and your power button so you can easily access that fingerprint sensor. It does have a slight raised edge on the sides of the phone and it does have a cutout on the bottom here so you can access your charging ports your speakers and your mic 
on the top here it has the same a little cutout piece you got your little lanyard hole on the side here and if we close it up as you can see it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the phone either which is nice and there you have your ring so you can clip it onto your belt to your book bag your purse uh, whatever on the back here as you can see your screen is recessed as well as your cameras so it offers some protection for that as well very nice case you put your finger you can also put your finger through the little hole here and you can hold your phone without having to worry about dropping it and if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging no problems there either and as you can see when it opens up it does give you some protection for the hinge but it also comes with a little hinge protector as well. That's a pretty cool case. I like the way that these pieces feel here. It's like a nice soft kind of rubbery material. But if you happen to drop your phone like this, most likely it's going to hit the ring on the center. As far as fingerprints goes, it doesn't seem to pick up a lot of fingerprints. It does pick up some, but you can easily wipe those away. Just like any other case, not so bad at all and it shows off the color of your phone which is pretty nice and your edges are covered here as well too it's pretty thick plastic as you can see so not a bad looking case I'm definitely gonna give this one a thumbs up and here we have the Otterbox Symmetry Flex so here is the case it says it's been three times military grade drop tested it's got a hard back to it it's got this rubbery flexible material to cover the hinge it also has this hard rubber material on the around the edge here and there we go so that is the otterbox symmetry flex it's got some really beefy uh, edges all the way around the phone as you can see it adds uh, some bulk it does have a raised edge all the way around the phone feels pretty good in the hand it's got that that hard rubbery type feel does not feel slippery it's got a very deep indentation for your fingerprint sensor which might be a little hard for you to find I mean you kinda gotta get your finger around that little edge to hit the button it's okay you know it's a little annoyance it's got your volume rockers here that are clicky and work very well on the bottom here we have our cutouts for our charging port the speaker and our microphone again it's got that hard backing and there's a definite deep recession for that display and your camera so you don't have to worry about <laughs> dropping your phone and having something hit the back there then if we close it up you can see that it has that rubbery hinge right there to, to protect the hinge man that is a chunky boy not too bad at all again like I said it is kinda thick a little bit thicker for my taste but if you want to protect your phone then that's what you have to deal with and if you're wondering about wireless charging there you go no problems there in this case cannot be separated from its hinge so all in all not a bad case um, like I said if you don't mind the chunk and you want your phone to be protected then this is not a bad option so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up and then here we have the Otterbox Thin Flex so this one does not have any hinge protection but it is nice and clear so this is the thin flex feels nice in the hands got a little bit of a rubbery type feel to it it is going to protect your phone if it drops on the edges because they are uh, pretty thick got your cutout for your fingerprint sensor that you can find uh, fairly easily the volume buttons are clicky and responsive got your cutouts on the bottom there and on the back shows off the color of your phone pretty nice now this does come in a couple different colors as well this is just the one that I got it's got the, like the aqua color but it does show off the color of your phone pretty nice it does have some recession for your display and camera protection which is pretty nice and again you do have some protection around the front edges as well adds a little bit of a little bit of thickness to the phone not as much as that last one and then here you have your hinge but it looks pretty nice definitely a nice case if you don't need as much protection as the symmetry flex but still offers some good protection and if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging 
no problems there. So this case does have a nice hard clear backing and it is surrounded by a nice uh, rubbery material. The screen does pick up some fingerprints but you can easily wipe those away. Definitely a nice case that offers some good protection. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. All right, and then here we have Spigen's Tough Armor case. Now this case does come loaded with some stickers. They're all in the sides and two big ones on the back here, as well as some extras. So this case does have a nice hard rubber inner layer surrounded by a harder a plastic layer and then there's a nice rubber piece in the middle to protect your hinge not a bad case <laughs> uh, it feels good in the hand it doesn't feel slippery it's got a nice rubbery feel to it I like the fact that they have this huge cutout on the side here so you can get to the volume buttons and the fingerprint sensor which is easily accessible it's got some very nice reinforced edges all the way around the phone if we look to the side here it does have some raised edge around the phone to protect your screen. On the bottom it's got your cutout for the charging port, speakerphone, your microphones, microphone on top. And then if we close it up, here we have that rubber layer to protect the hinge. It doesn't add a lot of bulk to the phone, but it's definitely worth the protection. And then it's got your protector for your camera and your external display. It's got a nice little recession, and if you do have a tempered glass screen protector, it looks like it will fit pretty nice in there as well. This is a pretty nice case, especially if you want to protect your phone. And if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging, no problems there. Very cool case. Spigen Tough Armor, I like it. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. And here we have the Spigen Air Skin. This is in an all plastic case. It's made of all hard plastic and it's super light. But you can also see the color of your phone through this case, which is pretty nice. So I like how it's got the Spigen logo at the bottom here. Shows off the color of your phone while still giving you some protection. It is super light, does not add hardly any bulk to the phone whatsoever. It does have a slight raised edge around the front. Got your nice cutouts for your volume rocker and your power button on the side. On the bottom, your cutouts for your charger, your speaker, your microphones. And then on the back, we'll go ahead and close this up. It's got a little recession to protect your screen and your camera and your little LED. As you can see, it doesn't add hardly anything to the phone itself. Feels nice in the hand. It doesn't feel slippery at all, so you don't have to worry about that. So if you want a case that shows off the color of your phone but still keeps the slimness and gives it some protection, this isn't a bad option. And if you're wondering about wireless charging, no problem at all. As far as fingerprints goes, it does collect some fingerprints. It's not horrible, but again, when it's in your pocket or whatever and you pull it out, those fingerprints should be gone and you can easily just wipe them away. So very nice slim case. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have the Spigen Thin Fit with a ring. So here is the clear case itself. It's just like the other one, but this one has a ring on it. And it also comes with these, it looks like shims. In case your phone moves around, you can put these inside to give it a little more snug fit. I don't see any problems with the phone moving around. Um, so I guess you don't need to use those shims. Again, it does feel nice in the hand. It feels... Uh, solid like the the plastic is pretty thick around the edges of this phone which is nice because it offers some good protection you got your cutouts here for your power button and your volume rocker which are easily accessible on the bottom here it has your cutouts for the charging port mics and speaker it does not add a lot of bulk to the phone but as you can see it's got this ring so you can kind of put your finger through it and hold your phone without having to worry about the phone slipping out of your hand and it's held on by the, like this a uh, thick silicone piece. Now there is no way to really remove this without never putting it on again. This is a nice metal ring, um, but if you don't mind that you know always sticking out there, it's not a bad thing. If you close it up, that's what it looks like. It kind of just sticks out. It does give your hinge a little bit of protection, but then you always have that ring there. 
It does have some recession for your display and camera as well. And it does show off the color of your phone. It, it does collect fingerprints a little bit, but again, you can just uh, wipe those away without, without any issues. Now, if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging, no problems there. So this is a pretty nice case. It fits pretty well. And if you are looking for that ring for your phone, this isn't a bad choice to get either. Not too bad, very nice. The case stays on, doesn't move. I'm gonna go ahead and give this case a thumbs up. Then here we have a case by UAG. This is the Civilian. So it does come with a couple stickers on the inside and it does come with a couple extra just in case these get worn out. We have a little cover for your hinge. It does have some nice hard rubber around the edges and a nice hard back. All right, and there you go looks pretty nice feels nice in the hand it's got a nice uh, kind of hard rubbery feel to it it's got your volume buttons which are part of the case they're flush which you can still easily access and click you got your power button here which is easily accessible you do have to get around this little edge but it's not too too bad there you go it's got some reinforced edges so if you happen to drop your phone on the edge it will not damage it whatsoever it does have some nice raised edges all the way around the phone it does add a little bit of bulk to the phone but again that's at the cost of some protection on the back here you can see that the display is recessed as well as the camera so that'll give you some protection there you got your lanyard hole and then if we fold the phone you can see that it's got your hinge protector right there it's like a hard piece of plastic the phone case does move a little bit. Now, I don't have those stickers connected, to be fair, um, but I would assume over time with maybe heat from your pocket or just heat that the phone generates, that those little stickers would wear out over time and this is what would happen to your case. It would just kind of move around. And here you can, <laughs> you can kind of see what I'm talking about, how the phone just kind of slides in and out of the case. And if you're wondering if it wireless charges, there you go. So I do want to like this case, but because of this hinge and the way that the case just kind of moves around and the way that you can slide this in and out like that, this isn't the best case for this phone as far as I'm concerned. Again, like I said, I don't have those stickers on there, but the stickers are so small uh, I would assume over time with heat, they would wear out and then your phone is just gonna slide around like this. So it definitely does offer some nice protection, but for me, that sliding is definitely a deal breaker. So I would tell you to stay away from this case and I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. All right, and then here we have VRS Designs Quick Stand Case. So here's the case. It is made of a hard plastic. It does have a built-in kickstand and it does have a rubbery piece to protect the hinge. So it looks like this kind of just slips into the back just like that with nothing holding it in. It does also have some sticky tape on the inside in case you want this to stick to your phone uh, per more permanently. We're we'll going to slide our phone in just like that. So again, it's made out of a hard plastic. It doesn't feel slippery. It feels pretty nice in the hand. It's got a nice big cutout here to allow you to get to your volume rockers and your power button which is easily accessible, very nice. Got your cutouts on the bottom here for your power, your speaker, your mic. Got a little lanyard hole on the side. On the back, it's got a very robotic, industrial looking back to it. <laughs> There's your, your kickstand, it's got these little nubs on the end in case you fold your phone and put this down like that. It won't touch the case. It does have some recession for your a second screen in your camera so there's some protection there it doesn't look like it adds a lot of bulk to the phone either and then as you can see it does have a little raised edge all the way around the phone we'll go ahead and fold it up just like that as you can see it does add some bulk to the phone we do have our nice little hinge protector here as you can see the case is not sliding around even though I didn't use the a little stickers on the inside and here if we deploy our little kickstand you can see that it holds the phone up open it up just like that 
and you can also use it in landscape mode as well. Voice calls, YouTube. And then it just folds back into place, just like that. And if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging, there you go. Definitely not a bad little case. I like the fact that it has that built-in kickstand and it offers you some pretty good protection all around as well as that hinge. So not too bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have VRS Designs TerraGuard. So this case is pretty unique. It looks like it does offer some really good protection and it has a little hinge on the end here with some magnets in it. So I'm assuming that it holds into place on the metal hinge of the phone. We'll check that out. It's surrounded by this hard rubber, so it should give you some nice protection on the inside. So there is the case on the phone. Very unique, feels pretty good in the hand. It's got a nice rubbery feel to it. Definitely gonna offer you some good protection. It's surrounded by that rubber edge on the top here. On the back, again, it's got this, this hinge which is pretty interesting because it'll kind of hold the phone up at an angle as well as protect the hinge when your phone is closed. So it's got a nice big cutout for your volume rocker and your power button. Very easy to get to and press. Very nice. It's got some serrated edges, very easy to hold on to. It does add a little bulk to the phone and then you see a little hinge on the bottom there. It does have some raised edge around the sides here to protect the screen. It's got your cutouts on the bottom, which are pretty deep. On the back here, it does have a little recession to protect your camera and screen. And it's got that, that big hinge cover on the back. Pretty cool. Definitely give you some good protection. Let's go ahead and close it up. That's pretty nice. So it doesn't add a huge amount of bulk, but it does offer some 360 degree protection. Got your little hinge right here. Very cool. So that's definitely protected no matter if you're holding it open or closed. If you happen to drop it, your phone's not gonna get damaged. It is a little bit heavier, but again, that's the price you pay for some good protection. And if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging, there you go. The back, this little piece in the back here also kind of gives your finger something to grab onto as well to give you more stable hold just in case. So this is a pretty cool case. I do like how that little hinge kind of moves up and out of the way. And then when you close it, it moves back. Very nice case overall. If you want good protection, this one's definitely going to give it to you. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have the O'Neagle Adventure Heavy Duty case. I'm pretty interested to see what this is about. So this case is pretty nice. It's got a hard rubbery honeycomb texture on the inside with some stickers surrounded by some hard rubber. And it also has a little ring on it in case you want to pop that out and put your finger through there or use it as like a little stand. It also comes with a rear camera glass screen protector that protects the whole piece. All right, so the case does feel good in the hand. It's got some nice rubber protection all the way around your phone. It's got your cutout for your power button. It Because it is a little thicker, you do have to get your finger around this corner, which is a little bit difficult, but can be done. Got your volume buttons that can be pressed up and down. As you can see, there is a raised edge around the whole phone, which is pretty nice. Got your cutouts on the bottom here, separated volume button. And then if we fold it up, it's got the little ring in the back. As you could see before, you can use the ring as like a little stand in case you want to maybe watch some YouTube. Or if you want to put your finger through it, you can hold your phone without having to worry about the phone falling somewhere. Now, the one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the fact that I slid this case onto the phone. As you can see, it kind of can slide out. It's not easy, but it can be done. Uh, that's my only concern, and it does have some deep recession for that camera and second screen, so you don't have to worry about anything touching that. This is a pretty nice heavy-duty case. I mean, when I open and close it, the case does not move, and it does have those stickers. 
So because it doesn't slide easily, I'm not too concerned about it, but it's just something I wanted you to keep in mind. But this is a pretty nice heavy duty case, like it said, that's gonna offer you some good protection. It does have a nice hard backing on it as well. Now, because there is this metal ring, it will not work with wireless charging. That's the only downside. But if you don't care about the wireless charging, then this case might be for you. And that's how much bulk it, it adds to the phone. Not, not a huge amount, but a noticeable amount. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs up because it's pretty protective and it works pretty well. So now I'll go ahead and install this little glass cover here. It's pretty easy, just clean off the screen and then we'll just peel this off just like this. Don't touch the underside. I'll just kind of put this into place and then just give it a good press so it adheres. So that's pretty disappointing. It doesn't look like it adheres to the screen very well. There are bubbles in pretty much all over the place and I've pressed down on it. I don't want to press too hard because I don't want to damage the screen, but it doesn't look like the bubbles want to go away. So that's a bust. So if you don't care about that extra screen piece, but you like the case, then I definitely recommend it. And then here we have a carbon fiber kickstand case made by Kaka Case. Now, interesting enough, this case does come with a hinge protector, a kickstand, and a built-in screen protector for the back of your phone. I'm pretty interested to see how this works. It also does have some stickers on the inside and you can peel off the inside to uh, put that little protector over the back of your phone as well. So the phone kind of just presses nicely into the case. Feels pretty nice in the hand. It's got a nice rubbery feel to it. It's got your cutouts right here for your power button and your volume rocker. You can easily access it. Very nice. It does not look like it has any raised edge around the phone, so your screen is not going to be protected at all. It's got a little lanyard hole on the side. It does add a little bulk to the phone. Got your cutouts on the bottom there. On the back, it does have a recession for your screen and your cameras. And like I said, it's got that little magnetic kickstand, so if you wanna watch some YouTube or something like that, you can do that as well got a nice like carbon fiber kind of feel to it Then if we fold it up there you can see the hinge protector and there's our screen as you can see I didn't take the tape off because I'm going to be taking this uh, case off <laughs> again and putting another one on but I just want to show you that you can still see the screen through there so it's got some nice protection there as well this is a like a plasticky feeling type of protector for your hinge but Nonetheless, it does protect it. Now, as you saw the first time, the case did slide out because the hinge got stuck a little bit, but the bottom part can slide. And I don't think that little piece of tape is going to keep it from moving, especially if the phone gets hot. It's not a super bad case, but because of this piece moving, it might be a deal breaker for you and me as well. This isn't a horrible case, but like I said before, because this piece can slide out like that, not a huge fan. And because of that, I'd probably just tell you to stay away from this case and I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. So here we have another case that has that ring in the back, but this particular one has a little slide cover to protect your rear display and cameras or to keep your privacy private. It's got a nice hard back and it's surrounded by a rubbery plastic. All right, so here it is on the phone. It does feel nice in the hand. It does add a little bit of weight, um, but there is some good protection around the edges here. Feels nice in the hand, it's not slippery. Here we have our cutout for our fingerprint sensor right there. Then we have our volume buttons, which are clicky. As you can see, it has a little raised edge for the screen protection as your cutouts on the bottom there, on the back. It has a deep recession for that uh, camera and the display. And like I said before, you can just slide this up to protect everything. And then you got your little ring here in case you wanna put your finger through it. So you can use your phone like that and not have to worry about dropping your phone or you can also use it to watch some YouTube. Now because of this little metal ring, wireless charging is not gonna work, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. 
So it's definitely not a bad case. We'll go ahead and fold it up. It, it does get chunky, uh, but again, it does offer some good protection and it has that ring in the back. Case does not seem to move. Very nice. See if we can slide the bottom part off. No, it's on there pretty good. So all in all, not a bad case. If you're looking for some good protection with some, like a little kickstand and some protection for your back camera and case, this is a nice option. It also comes in a lot of different other colors as well. So I'll go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Now this case is pretty interesting. It's got metal housing around the edges. You have to put it in with screws, so I'm pretty interested to see this one. So there is our little Allen key, our installation instructions, and there is the case. That is insane. So it's surrounded by metal and it's got this silicone thick rubber on the inside as well. So let's go ahead and put it together. So now that we got that done, we can put the bottom portion of the phone in, just like that. Then we can put the top back on. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is some pretty cheap metal. And it's probably gonna interfere with the cellular signal because of the metal. I wouldn't recommend putting metal around your phone. But I'm pretty curious to see what this is gonna look like when it's put together. All right, we are all done. So, it does add hella weight to this phone. That's insane. The cutout is huge for the power button. It's not exactly easy to get to the power button because it's not flushed. It's kind of like recessed in there. I mean, you can still hit it, but you gotta kind of really press on it. The volume buttons are flush, but you can still press them. They're a little hard to press because they are flush. As you can see, it does add some raised edge around the phones for some protection. You got your cutouts, deep charging port in there. Everything's really recessed in there. It's got like this rubber edge around the whole phone. It's not slippery, but the phone is super heavy. And then if we close it up, you can see that it adds definitely some bulk to the phone. It's got a little recession and rubber edge to protect your screen and cameras. And it also has this kickstand that's held in place with magnets that doesn't seem to want to stay open very well. So that doesn't work. That doesn't work very well at all. So forget about that. And then it's got this huge silicone pad on the back. Now, does this work with wireless charging? Let's see. It does because of that silicone cover on the back. But this case is so effing heavy. I mean, this is gonna weigh your pants down or if you have it in your purse, so, I mean, it's a cool it's a cool idea, but having metal all the way around your phone, I would assume would definitely interfere with the signal and this power button is hard to hit. The volume buttons are hard to hit. It's super heavy. This little piece in the back doesn't really do much. I it's cool like I said, but I would definitely stay away from this for multiple reasons. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs down. Then here we have a case made by Dutu. It's a very simple case. It does have a nice kind of like rubbery silicone feel to it. Very light, very thin. It simply just clips into place. Feels pretty good in the hand. It's not super slippery, but it is a little s smooth. I don't think you're just gonna drop it, so you don't have to worry about that. It does have some nice cutouts for your volume rocker and your power button on the side here does have like a little lanyard hole on the side. Here's what the back looks like. Again, it's got that nice smooth silicone feel, but it is uh, like a hard plastic. It's not flexible. You got your cutouts on the bottom here for your microphone, speaker, and charging port. It doesn't look like it offers any raised edge for the protection of your screen, so keep that in mind. But it does have a nice raised little gold area to protect your back display and the cameras. And if you're wondering if it works with wireless charging, no issues there either. And I believe this one also does come in different colors too. Folds up pretty nice. Doesn't really add any bulk to the phone whatsoever. So that's pretty good. 
and they're not just going to slide off of the phone either. So that's definitely a plus. So if you're looking for just a simple, uh, thin, light case, then this is probably the one for you. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. And then here we have a leather wallet case by CC Samuel. So there is the case. Again, it's got a nice thick leather uh, outlay on, on the outside of the phone. It does just have a simple hard plastic cover for your actual phone. It's got your cutouts for your volume rockers and power button. There's your charging ports on the bottom there. And then it just simply folds up like that. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that this just flaps open. There's nothing holding it, so it'll be just kind of like flapping in the breeze. <laughs> I mean, it was a good, an, it was a good thought. Uh, they probably should have put some sort of magnet in here to keep it closed, but they didn't. So that's what you get. It does have a very deep recession here for your outer screen and your camera, so you don't have to worry about that being touched if you happen to drop this. But again, if you do drop your phone, this thing's just gonna flap right open. So this works pretty well. Uh, like I said, it's just a cheap plastic case to hold your phone. Uh, you have your card holder here, and then you can hold a couple cards over here. But because this thing just kind of flaps like this, I would tell you to just uh, stay away from this case because there are definitely better wallet cases out there. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs down. All right, and here we have a case by AYM Nolves does have like this carbon fiber feel to the back here and it also has this little built-in kickstand on the inside it does have a rubber feel to it let's go and put it in it does feel pretty light it does have our cutouts for our volume rocker and power button here it does have a like a hard rubbery type texture around the case feels pretty good in the hand doesn't feel slippery does not add a lot of bulk to the phone whatsoever and there also seems to be maybe like a slight raised edge around the front for the screen protection. Got your cutouts on the bottom here. And it does have a little recession for your cameras and screen. And then here we have that kickstand again. It's very simple. It's just a piece of plastic. So it can hold your phone up in case you want to watch some YouTube or something. Or maybe do like a video chat session although it feels like it's going to break when you're <laughs> putting your phone in that orientation again like i said it's just a, a thin piece of plastic and there's really nothing even holding it down like a magnet it kind of just just sits there so if it wears out i'm sure it's going to flop around uh, and then this carbon fiber kind of sticker on here as you can see it doesn't add a lot like hardly any bulk to the phone except for the little kickstand and if you're wondering if it wireless charges through this stand, yes, it does. So there are some stickers on the inside here to keep this case from sliding. The top piece seems to slide just a little bit. And the bottom piece will slide out a little bit as well. The bottom piece is the biggest part because here the camera is going to stop it from completely sliding off. Uh, the biggest thing is that the kickstand is just kind of like a, a piece of plastic that is barely even held in there. So the case is kind of cheap, at least it feels to me. And when it adds something for functionality that doesn't really feel solid or work very well, kind of leads me to believe I would probably stay away from this. So for this particular case, there are better ones with better kickstands in them, so I would probably tell you to stay away from this case, and I'm going to give it a thumbs down. It also popped off the phone very easily, which also tells me that if you happen to drop your phone, this case would probably pop off, which would not be a good thing. Okay, and then here we have an interesting little case here that does have a little bump, kind of like the VRS Design one did. This one's made by Goosebox, but this one is made out of a very cheap inexpensive plastic. It does have that silicone type feel to it and the hinge is not nearly as good as the one on the VRS design but let's see if it's still functional. So there is the case on the phone. Feels pretty nice in the hand, doesn't feel slippery and then it's got that bump in the back to help give you some better grip. 
It's got a nice big cutout for your volume rockers and your power button. It doesn't look like it offers any protection for the screen on the front. You can't easily get to your power button for the fingerprint sensor. If we look at the bottom here, you have your cutouts, charging port, speaker, and mic. On the back here, it does have a slight raised edge to protect your cameras and your back screen. And you got this little bump here, so when we close it, now your hinge is totally protected. It actually works out better than I thought. Uh, this little piece does not flap open like VRS Designs does, but it is pretty tight uh, and it protects your hinge. So not too bad. The only concern I would have about this is the fact that this little hinge piece here is pretty cheap and held in by little uh, very thin rods. So I would be concerned about maybe long term use of this case, how well it would hold up. This also does come in a whole bunch of different colors, which is always nice too. And if you want to see if it wireless charges, no problems there. And as you can see, it doesn't add a lot of bulk to the phone either, which is nice. So it does offer some outside protection, nothing for your screen really uh, on the inside, but it does protect your hinge and it actually looks pretty good once it's closed. So if you're looking for, you know, a cheaper case that does give you some protection and, and as well protect the hinge when it's closed, then you might want to take a look at this. As you can see, that little, very little rod in there is just holding that plastic piece and that's pretty much how everything else is being held in place too. So case isn't really that bad. For what it is, I'm going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And then here we have a ring case made by Decori. It does have a silicone type feel to it, but it is a hard case. It does have this metal ring on here held together with this uh, simple piece of nylon. So there is the case on the phone. Feels nice in the hand. It is a slight bit thick because of that hard uh, plastic with the silicone rubber type feel to it. It does have your cutouts for your power button and your volume rockers. At the bottom here, it's got your cutout for your speakers, your charging port, and your mics. It does seem to give a very slight edge around the front for some of that protection. And on the back, it does have a slight raised edge for the screen, and it looks like it's flush with the cameras. So not much protection for the cameras there. Again, it does have this ring here, so in case you want to put your finger through it and hold your phone, you don't have to worry about dropping your phone like that. And then when we close it up, it does offer some slight protection for the middle for your uh, spine here. And then you got your ring just like that. So this is kind of like a cheaper version of the Samsung one. Not as good, but you know, if you're looking to not spend a lot of money, this one might be good for you. See if it wireless charges. Yeah, no problems there. And it doesn't add hardly any bulk to the phone whatsoever either. So if you're looking for an inexpensive ring case, uh, this one's not too bad. The pieces don't just come apart, which is definitely a plus. And then it's got that nice big solid ring on here. So not too bad. It doesn't offer a ton of protection, but it's a ring case. This one also does come in a whole bunch of different colors as well. So for what it is, it seems to work and it holds on pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. So that is it for the video, guys. If you stuck with me this far, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate you. And I hope you guys found a case that you absolutely loved. And if you did, let me know which one you found that you liked and why. Again, I will be putting links in the description for all these cases in case you guys want to pick them up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.